What's up guys, today we're going to be taking a look at Johnny's theme, Biken's theme, and Venom's theme in QTQ XRD. So let's just jump right into it because I hate intros with all my heart. So XRD original bet is Johnny's theme. We're going to be doing all of this on Spotify from now on just because I get annoyed when like the YouTube videos have like shitty ass quality. So Spotify surely has good quality, right? Uh, fuck it, let's go. I'm a bit confused. I think, oh, okay, okay, okay. That's a much, that's a much groovier thing. The guitar just fucking stepped it up a mile. I like this riff. It doesn't have like a noticeable kind of like reset. It kind of just keeps flowing into the next like portion. Oh shit, okay. This is giving me a uh, trigger, that kind of vibe with uh, Giovanna. How do I raise my volume more? I really like the rhythm. The lead I'm not much of a fan of yet, but it's giving like... It should be vocals. Okay, this is different. Okay, this is much different. And I like the lead. It's it's so simple, yeah. It's like, it's like effective. I really like that rhythm, though. It's pretty much the same thing so far with the verse. But I just really like how it, I like how it's like really seamless. And then this part's interesting. It's like some clapping. This feels like a concert. And then the leads, the lead guitar is serving like it should be vocals. Like it's like the vocals of the song. I don't know how to explain it. Because other songs, like, I gotta pause it. Other songs, the the leads usually serves as kind of like a solo or like as you know, it's just a lot going on, so you can't really imagine it as vocals. Whereas this one, you can actually kind of imagine it more as vocals. Why did I turn gray? Ah, there we go. My internet dropped. Knew it. That's why I'm on Spotify too. Hopefully, it keeps working. I really like that chorus part. Like, the high notes like are just hitting really good. <laughs> but it's by far probably the most simple one I've gotten so far. Most simple one we've listened to. Okay. I'm liking the solo. Or, I don't know if it's supposed to be a solo bridge. Oh no, that is a solo. Okay, there we go. Now, now it's giving a lot more uh, happy feels. God, it's giving like a certain vibe with things, but I just can't really pinpoint it. Like I can just say trigger, but it's just like it's like a normal song. And that's it. Wow, okay. So, um, I'm sure you can tell by the reaction already, but so far, I'm gonna put it in This Is Okay. Not I'm loving it, but it's like, I like the chorus. The chorus is like, you know, give good happy feels. The the rhythm, I really like the rhythm guitar and the verses. I was, I was like, I don't know. I just felt, it just this just felt like very kind of like generic. Like, I don't want to say generic, because it's like, so far this song, it's like completely unique from all the other ones. 
right? It's just like, I don't know, I can't really, it's, it's giving the same kind of like thing um, that my friend and I, Zerk, we were like, when we, when we did Go Take Your Strives, that theme, and then we listened to May, we were like, how the fuck do we rank this? It's like, really different. And this is kind of giving me that same kind of feel, because it's just extremely different. It just doesn't have that kind of nuts to butt, throttle, come blast kind of feel. So I think I'm just going to leave it there. This is okay, because it's not a bad song. Like, I can groove to it. Gotta love being a fucking college dude with no Wi-Fi built into your fucking motherboard, so then you have to rely on a network adapter that keeps disconnecting every four seconds for some reason. But fuck it, we got broke. Oh my god, okay. This is fucking straight into it. This is this is a banger so far. It always gives that kind of like fighter vibe. Okay. It's building up right now, I feel it. It's building up. Come on. Pipe me. I know you want to. Oh, wait. It was building up, but it kind of evened out. Okay. Now it's kind of mixing in together. The intro and the... I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Oh, okay. The rhythm's fucking going crazy here. The rhythm's angry. Oh, okay, okay. Some more uh, cultural shit. God, I love that. It has that, I don't know the name of the instrument, but it's like, I guess it serves more of... I can't even talk, this song's so fucking good. The rhythm's so fucking metal. And then the lead has its like own little unique instrument, which I love. Like how Holy Orders had the violin. Melia had her little organ. This one has that little unique little string instrument. Oh, okay. And do some lead guitar. Okay, slow down. Okay, they shouted at me. I'm scared. I really like that, that rhythm little riff. I can't even talk right. Oh, that's so... Ch it's like it's like Chucky, Chucky with a little mix up in the rhythm. And then they play nice little licks. I love how it has its own uniqueness with the, with the kind of lead here. But then we drop into a flute. Oh, we got multiple flutes going on with the with the rhythm guitar. Flute's not a string instrument, is it? No, it's not. I'm stupid. I was thinking the lute, the lute string. Is this what? Is this a lute? Oh god, the. Oh, that was a nice little pre bend there. I love that. Good old alternate picking, but it's got a little, got a little open palm unit in between, I think. Ooh. Getting a little funky. All right, we gotta get a, a little solo here with the flute. Give it to me. This song isn't much of like a, like a super fast, loud banger. It's more of like a, like a heavy burn, like a steady burn. Oh fuck, never mind. Jesus Christ. Why am I so wrong? Oh no, I, I needed more of that, dude. I need a little thrash moment, like a good like few bars to like let the audience just fucking mosh throughout that. But now we have like that kind of moment of peace. Kinda of reminds me of Potemkins and uh Strive. Okay. We're gonna have a, a slow lead solo here. Giving almost kind of a psychedelic feel. 
Ooh, okay. Got some diminish in there. Okay. Build up. Pat me. Okay, this isn't 100% a build up. You can feel it. Okay. The, the solo is just interesting so far. Okay. Classic, back into the course. I'm offline again, let's go. Of course, dude, my fucking Wi-Fi drops out of nowhere. I love the drums of the chorus. Just the constant. Okay. I have a solo, right? Oh no, this is an outro. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, I don't think it's called a loot. I don't think it's called a loot, but I don't know what it's called, but damn, that was actually fucking good. Uh, fart in my mouth. Um, where is she? Oh, she's in flaccid. Oh, she's not flaccid though. Uh, not this is okay, not I'm loving. I probably put it in musical steroids or maybe high. I'm, nah, I'm putting it in musical steroids, right? Because hear me out. So the song's a fucking banger. The 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 lead guitar is you know very successful in the chorus when it comes in. The rhythm guitar is very successful throughout the entire thing. It's a bit thrashy, but more I don't know. It's like a good mix of different like shit farts and um, the loot or it's not fucking loot. Why do I keep calling that the flute and the and the other string instrument? I don't know what it's called, but it's like you know more cultural, obviously, right? Um, those were fucking great too, but my only issue here is that you could hear throughout the reaction there were times where it was I felt like hyped up, but then it didn't like have that huge payoff towards the end. But I guess it makes sense because you know, like I said, this is like more of a steady burn rather than like a huge like. Whoo. So uh, yeah, it's still musical stories, but it's just like I I wish it turned me into a crack addict really quick. There was that one part, that one really thrashy part. Where was it? I think it's around here. I think it's after this part. Yeah, right here. Oh, this part was so good. They only play it twice though, dude. Why don't they play that like like 16 times on like, let me fucking go crazy to it. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Well, yeah, that's that. That's why I have it in musical steroids here. I like Diva of Despair more. Um, I think I'll put Melia under Diva of Despair. I think I already alluded that like I might change it up because I was giving Diva of Despair more listens uh, throughout the past week. And it's just like, I don't know, it just hits like whenever I see like uh, all these songs like lined up, I'm like, you know what? I'm feeling Diva of Despair and you know, she's consistently coming on. All right, so now we have Venom's theme call shot. It's in this little section, right? The, the little red girl. Um, so I'm hoping it's going to be really good quality. Yep. Okay. Very synthy, I love this already. All right, so just so you guys know, I think one of my favorite aesthetics and like video game and just kind of all like literature and shit, like I just love cyberpunk things and synth is like super fucking good. Like, hold on, let me let me show you guys something. This guy does like synth composing of like the Elden Ring soundtrack, right? He has some others, but like he's been doing Elden Ring more often. It's like, it's just so fucking good. Like, I don't know why, but it just synth shit is just amazing. So yeah, he's been like my, one of my favorite like composing dudes lately. But yeah, let's go straight back into it. Let's reset because fuck, the, that already hyped me up like immediately. Oh, okay. Okay. That's synth, dude. That's this this guy's unique instrument, huh? Oh no, it's just like Oh, okay, okay. We're getting a little evil. That lead guitar is is like fuck, I don't know. I was going to say it's like it's kind of like a uh, Zeta's, but not really. It's a lot slower. The rhythm's very kind of like cut up. All right, uh, Venom's mentally ill. I'm just getting that already from the lead. 
God, that rhythm's carrying though. That rhythm's so fucking girthy. And then the lead. Oh, the synth is coming in for like some psychedelic shit, and then it's like mixing in really good with this lead. It's like evil sounding. I'm hearing a lot on the soundtrack. Okay. Oh shit! That hit good! Alright, what the fuck? Okay, okay, that chorus, that chorus is a fucking banger already. Uh, it's a shame we're already like halfway through. Alright. But up. But up, but up. Oh, okay. Playing that same note, that same riff, but it's not palm muted. Please tell me you're gonna go keep going through. Come on, rhythm, don't stop. God, this is a fucking good song. I love this one. Oh, that was a unique little inclusion there. The course is fucking great, dude. So Venom's kind of, he's a good person, I think. I don't know, the whole song's telling me he's not, but the, the chorus just changes my mind for some reason. I know he has chemistry with Emilio. Okay, building up. Oh, okay, we got a solo. Okay. Okay. It's got its own little unique feel to that uh, that solo. Oh, okay. I'm lacking the, the the emphasis on like the on the strength with the notes. Oh, okay. Getting a synthy outro. I like that. That was good. Ah, uh, spoilers. Oh wait, I just I listened to that one. Uh, fuck, that was good. All right. Uh, fuck, I don't really know what to say on that. I wish it was longer. I like the I like the chorus a lot and the rhythm. The rhythm and synth really fucking carried the verses for me because you know that that lead I wasn't like you know a big fan of because it was like very kind of gave me the feel of like Happy Chaos's uh, vocals. You know, it's like it's like oh like weird as shit, but like it fits of course. But the rhythm and the uh, the poop. Um, the synth really carried that. So where did I put him? Oh, he's in flaccid right now. Uh, shit. I'm going to put him under Ramethal. I might put him above Ramethal. Oh, fuck, I don't even know. Because I, I want to put him in orgasmic, right? But it just, it wasn't, it wasn't long enough for me. Like, it felt like really quick. I wanted more of it. So maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. I'm, uh, let me know what you guys think about Venoms. Like, I think I'm going to put it here under Diva of Despair. I might put it above or put it below Kai. I don't, I'm not sure, but, uh, oh yeah, speaking of Kai's theme, I got to listen to Magnolia Eclair. Um, because apparently Holy, Holy Orders wasn't his theme. It was like his second fucking Super Saiyan theme. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to give Magnolia Eclair a listen to sometime. And yeah, uh, there's a lot more songs, of course, obviously than just these character theme songs. So, uh, I'm going to figure something out to kind of branch out more. But um, yeah, so far we got uh, Venom here under Ramlethal. I might move him up though. I'm gonna listen to him more. So uh, yeah, have a good one, guys.